I want to invite you into a ancient, ancient prayer practice called the examine. Uh, this is a practice that dates back to a guy by the name of Ignatius. He would pray this at the end of every day. It's a great prayer to pray at the end of days. If you're a night person like me, the morning prayers might not be your thing, but, but at the end of the day when your head hits the pillow and you're trying to uh, wind down and, and all of a sudden all the worries of the day start attacking you, um, certainly that's what happens to me. That's, that's all of a sudden when, when my head hits the pillow is when I realize, oh, I forgot to buy eggs um, or, or whatever it's going to be. Then, and there's this level of anxiety that rises up at the moment of relaxation. So I've taken to, to this practice and it, there are two phases to the examine, at least the way I divide it. Um, and the, the second one is really optional. So, so really uh, the, the first phase is the, the one to begin and to take up if you dare and then consider adding the second. Um, the first step just works like this. As you, as you quiet your mind and you quiet your spirit, you quiet your whole self, and you begin to ask for light, for guidance, for illumination, as you search your day. You're, you're seeking to examine those moments of your day, pay attention to the moments of your day when you were the person that you endeavor to be. Count your wins. Count, count the times that you succeeded, the times that you met your goals or, or effectively worked towards your goals, that you did the things that you expect of yourself to do. Notice yourself doing those. Keep track of them. And as you notice each one, be intentionally grateful for that. Get, be intentionally grateful that, yeah, I, that person said something weird and I responded the way that I, I think I should have responded, that, that I think a patient, loving person would respond, or, hey, I, I accomplished that goal and it took, it took diligence and patience and I powered through it. And be thankful. Appreciate yourself, love yourself. Take some time to notice the ways in which you've grown and the ways in which you've worked hard and the ways in which you're getting better. After you've done that, and after you've spent some time with each of those moments, with each of those things, you can move on to the second step. You dare not take the second step until you've taken the third step, the first step, and done it thoroughly and, and completely, until you've felt the, the truth of your successes. And that's, of course, to examine your day for the failures for the moments that you have fallen short of your expectations of yourself, for the moments where you haven't been the person that you expect yourself to be. One of the, uh, my, my favorite things about the, the spiritual community and the tradition that I practice is the belief that there is no standard by which we are going to be judged that is any harsher than the standard by which we judge, by which we judge other people. And so at the end of my day, after I've paid attention to my wins and counted them and been grateful for them, I'll, I'll pay attention to those, those times when I acted in a way where if I saw somebody else acting in that way, I would think poorly of them. Some times when I've failed to live up to the standard that I set for myself, that I've accomplished in previous days, um, some mistakes I've made, and I'll, I'll note them, I'll pay attention to them, I'll seek forgiveness for them, and then I'll begin to orient myself towards tomorrow with the, once again, grateful and thankful recognition that tomorrow is another day and is another chance to be the person that I expect myself to be and to accomplish the goals that I set for myself, and to live the life that is before me.
And so that's, those will be my last thoughts at the end of the day as I drift to sleep, will be the things that I've done well and the things I've done poorly. I hope that you uh, can incorporate that in your own life.